Hey there, fellow time travelers. Do you why did you do you remember the good old days when you used to plop down in front of the TV, eagerly waiting for that familiar jingle to transport you to the quirky world of Hooterville? That's right, I'm talking about the beloved 1965 TV series, Green Acres. D-Y-O-E three quarters ah, those were the days, weren't they? The show that kept us laughing and shaking our heads in amusement as we followed the misadventures of Oliver Wendell Douglas and his glamorous city slicker wife, Lisa. The quaint charm of life on the farm, the eccentric characters like Mr. Haney, and Arnold the Pig, and the catchy theme song that's probably playing in your head right now. But here's the fun part, I want to hear your stories. Do you have fond memories of watching Green Acres? Did you have a favorite character, an unforgettable episode, or a moment that still makes you chuckle to this day? Share your nostalgia, folks. Let's take a stroll down memory lane together and relive those delightful moments that made Green Acres an enduring classic. Now, without further ado, let's dive into some random facts about this timeless TV gem. Get ready for some behind-the-scenes tidbits and trivia that will make you appreciate the show even more. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started on our journey to Hooterville. Green Acres, a classic television series that aired from 1965 to 1971, emerged as a quirky and enduring piece of Americana. Created by Jay Somers as a spin-off of Petticoat Junction, the show followed the misadventures of Oliver and Lisa Douglas, a sophisticated New York City couple who moved to the fictional rural town of Hooterville to live a simpler life. Their journey was peppered with humorous encounters with eccentric locals, including the enigmatic Arnold the Pig. Green Acres was characterized by its satirical take on rural life, contrasting the cosmopolitan sensibilities of the Douglas couple with the idiosyncrasies of rural living. Iconic characters like the perpetually confused Arnold and the zany Ebb Dawson contributed to the show's enduring charm. Its unique blend of humor, satire, and social commentary made it a beloved classic and a symbol of the cultural divide between urban and rural America. Green Acres left an indelible mark on popular culture, serving as both a reflection and a satire of the changing dynamics in mid-20th century America. And it continues to be celebrated for its timeless humor and memorable characters, all while poking fun at the clash of cultures. In the opening credits of the 1965 TV series Green Acres, there's an interesting bit of trivia. The view from the Douglas penthouse balcony, which is shown during the credits, features a newly constructed high-rise office building located at 777 Third Avenue. You can also spot the twin towers of the Waldorf Asteria Hotel in the background. Here's the catch. The Waldorf Asteria is actually situated at 31 Park Avenue. So, it's not possible that the scene in the opening credits is a view from a Park Avenue penthouse. The approximate location of that view is more likely around 1st Avenue and East 48th Street, looking west. It's a curious bit of misdirection in the show's iconic opening sequence. With the passing of Tom Lester on April 20th, 2020, there are no more surviving cast members from Green Acres. The show's ensemble cast, which included stars like Eddie Albert, and Eva Gabor has all left us. Tom Lester, who played the character Ebb Dawson on the show, brought authenticity to his role. He grew up on a farm in Mississippi where he learned to grow and shuck corn, not unlike his character on the show. His real-life farming background added an extra layer of credibility to the series. So, while the cast of Green Acres may no longer be with us, their performances on the show continue to entertain audiences, and the show itself remains a classic in television history. In 1965, the TV series Green Acres made its debut, bringing the comedic adventures of Oliver Wendell Douglas and his city slicker wife, Lisa, to the small screen. Created by Jay Somers, the show quickly gained popularity with its unique take on rural life. One interesting tidbit about the show is that Jay Somers, the creator of Green Acres, also wrote extensively for another popular series, Petticoat Junction, during its second season. This connection between the two shows is notable because some of the characters who later appeared in Green Acres made their first appearances in these non-syndicated episodes of Petticoat Junction. Characters like Doris, Fred, Newt, and even Arnold the Piggy were introduced to the audience in these episodes. A year before Green Acres originally debuted on September 15, 1965, with the episode titled Green Acres, Oliver Buys a Farm. Another intriguing aspect of Green Acres is how Pat Buttram, 
who portrayed the conniving Mr. Haney on the show, based his character on Tom Parker, also known as Colonel Tom Parker. Tom Parker was Elvis Presley's manager, and Pat Buttram had encountered him a decade or so earlier when Parker worked as a carnival barker. Drawing inspiration from Parker's charismatic and shrewd personality, Buttram brought his own unique twist to the character of Mr. Haney, making him one of the memorable figures in the series. Green Acres was not just a sitcom about a couple trying to adapt to rural life. It was a show filled with interesting connections and inspirations that contributed to its enduring appeal. With its quirky characters and clever humor, Green Acres remains a beloved classic in the world of television. In 1965, the TV series Green Acres captured the hearts of viewers with its quirky humor and memorable characters. While there were many fascinating aspects to the show, one intriguing tidbit involves a false rumor that circulated for years. Rumor had it that the cast of Green Acres had a luau on the final day of filming, and Arnold the Piggy, a beloved character on the show, was on the menu. However, in a TV Land special interview, Tom Lester, who portrayed Eb Dawson, admitted that he made up the story. He confessed that he concocted the tale because he grew tired of people incessantly asking him what had happened to Arnold the Piggy. In reality, Arnold the Piggy was not served at a luau, and the character remained safe and sound. The show's humor also extended to its characters' names. Lisa Douglas, portrayed by Eva Gabor, had a maiden name that she would spell out for people in a distinctive way. She would say, G-R-N with a yitz at the end, adding a humorous touch to her character's persona. In a touching and heartwarming story, in 1969, Eva Gabor's dog gave birth to a litter of puppies. Among them, one puppy was born not breathing. Eva Gabor took immediate action, using a hose to resuscitate the puppy and nurse him back to health. She named him Oliver, and his sister was christened Lisa, after her character on Green Acres. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the fascinating world of Green Acres, a show that continues to be cherished by fans for its unique brand of humor and endearing characters. As we bid adieu to the charming world of Green Acres, it's time to pause and reflect on the unique place this 1965 TV series holds in our hearts. This delightful show, filled with quirky characters and rural adventures, has left an indelible mark on television history. But what is it about Green Acres that makes it resonate with you? Was it the hilarious antics of Oliver Wendell Douglas as he tried to navigate the unfamiliar territory of Hooterville? Or perhaps it was the zany residents of the town, like Arnold the Pig or Mr. Haney, who never failed to bring a smile to your face. Maybe it was the underlying message of embracing change and finding joy in the simple life that struck a chord with you. Whatever it is that makes Green Acres special to you, we invite you to share your favorite memories, moments, or thoughts about this classic series. Whether it's a funny quote, a heartwarming scene, or a character you've grown to love, your connection to Green Acres is a story worth sharing. So, take a moment to reminisce and leave a comment below, and let's celebrate the timeless charm of Green Acres together. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey, and we look forward to hearing your stories. Warm regards, 